This is Royal Navy frigate Broadsword, and she is equipped with the Exocet missile for offensive action and Sea Wolf missiles for defence. Current deployment is on Type 22 and Type 23 frigates, the newer ships taking 32 missile silos. It is expected to remain in service until 2020. The Sea Wolf is a naval anti-missile missile and is designed as a final line of missile defence against both sea skimming and high angle anti-ship missiles. It can also operate against aircraft. It has been used by the Royal Navy since 1979 and has been fired in anger during the Falklands War and the Persian Gulf conflicts. The manufacturers claim the missile can intercept targets as small as 140mm shells. BAC developed the system from a 1964 requirement. A contract was awarded in 1967 to BAC, Vickers and Bristol Aerojet. Testing lasted from 1970 until 1977. The Aegis Combat System, named for the mythological Aegis Shield, is a United States Navy weapon system. The first cruiser of this class was the Ticonderoga. This is not just a missile, it is a complete system, and was first tested on the Phantom, the 34 Fire Bee and the Sabre. This is the chief offensive and defensive missile of US Navy fleet and will remain so approximately until the year 2010. It can be used to destroy aircraft, cruise missiles and missile launch platforms. The computer-based command and decision element is the core of the Aegis combat system. This interface makes the Aegis combat system capable of simultaneous operation against a multi-mission threat, anti-air, anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare. The Navy built the first Aegis equipped destroyers using the hull and machinery designs of Spruance class destroyers. The heart of the system is an advanced automatic detect and track multi-function three-dimensional phased array radar. Known as the shield of the fleet, this high-powered radar is able to perform search, track and missile guidance functions simultaneously with a track capacity of over 200 targets at more than 200 miles. Because the Aegis system dominates the ship architecture, ships equipped with it are sometimes mistakenly called Aegis class ships. The early version was the Mark 26 dual purpose launcher. This is the Mark 41 version and 54 of these are fitted to the ships in environmentally sealed canisters. A key element of the system is the radar. Once fired, the missile will immediately turn towards its target. The radars generate an enormous amount of information regarding so many targets and produce instant solutions. The Aegis equipped vessels are probably the first vessels in history that cannot be swamped by incoming threats. In fact, nobody has yet been able to determine just how many targets Aegis system can track simultaneously.